you will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside, leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Hello and welcome to the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, my name is Ilya Marion and uh, we'll be playing through this game. Uh, I didn't want to uh, ruin that amazing uh, intro scene. Um, this is a game that I uh, have played when it like first came out in early access. Um, Back when there were like three zones, and um, uh, then it kind of fell out of, of my radar. But I really love like Lovecraftian uh, stuff and games, and uh, we'll be playing through this game and uh, seeing how far we get. Um, Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. I have all of the uh, DLCs. Uh, activated. Dispatch this thug in so fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. You may uh, pause and see this uh, if you if you want. Um, I I know the basics of how to play, um, but I haven't really experienced like the uh, the late game stuff for the most part. So. Um, that that will all be new. The, mo um, the, the early game uh, dungeons and uh, areas I'll have seen, so I know a little bit of what's coming. Um, but not not shot. too much. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Um, I I played a test game of this and. Uh, Send these vermin a message. So I, 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 I have seen some of the, their kind is no longer welcome. of the content that's coming up, but um, again, not too much. I like taking out the bad guys first and stunning this guy. If, if we get lucky, there we go. <clears throat> Dodged it, damn it. <coughs> Sorry about that. So I won't be uh, explaining as much. Um, like I said, if you uh, if you want to read the uh, the tutorials, then uh, you can go and go and pause the uh, the video. And read it. Um, I I do know, uh, like I said, the basics of it, so I won't be explaining too much. Is he still? No. But I think it's gonna be best if we just kill him as fast as possible at this point. This is just the tutorial area. Uh, of getting to the main game, which is actually, I think it's it's a really nice way of uh, putting you into the sea, uh, into the into the game. Oh, damn! Okay, he was gonna die anyway. As the fiend falls, a faint hope. Caution, though. That's nice. But mine's 10 speed on first round, that's not great. 
Alright, we'll continue adventuring for a little bit, see what's in this chest. Never mind, it's a trap chest. And we get some rewards. Very nice. Now, what I love about this game is how the uh, how the traits work out because uh, this is a Lovecraftian inspired game, uh, and it really deals Welcome well home, with the uh, such as it is. On. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. And you are bound to them. So it really deals with the insanity part very well. Um, I think it does does it well done. Most will end up here, uh, better than covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Better than um, even the like licensed um, Call of men, Cthulhu games. Soldiers I feel like. and outlaws, fools. And corpses. Okay, so All the first thing their way to us now that the road is clear. The first thing I want to do is upgrade this at least the oh I can't do it to four. That's too bad. Okay. Because getting more adventurers in there as soon as possible is critical. Alright, so let's Let's get to all these. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. Hmm. Not gonna upgrade this just yet. Um, let's see, all of this is locked for now, so let's see what's going on here. Uh, he's a warrior of the light, so we want to keep, his, keep the torch above 75, god fearing, and he's a kleptomaniac. I think these two are like locked in, they're always there um, when you start. Uh, he has a hard nog noggin, so that's good. Quick reflexes, hard skin, which he got on the uh, uh, on the intro, and then he's also a known cheat. So that's gonna deal with uh, how we reduce his stress later on. So let's go back to the stagecoach and hire these two because we do want a full party. Laboratory than the blood -soaked battlefield. Yes, thank you, and. Let's see what's going on here. So he's unholy hater. So yes, thank you, game. So he has he's better against unholy. That's good. He hates the ruins, which is not good because I think that's the only area we can go to for now. Um, he does extra damage, minus ten dodge, which isn't great, but he'll be near the back anyway, so it's not a huge problem. Uh, he's got blight, he's got more blight for the back row, a stun for the back row, and an incision. So we'll put him third, that's gonna be good. And uh, this is bad. Warrens, Manslayer, that's fine. I'm not sure what this does. And oh, she can't heal very well. She has Divine Grace and Divine Favor, or uh, Divine Comfort, so she's going to be the backline, um, and she has Judgment, so that's good, she can heal herself somewhat. Uh, the Maze Bash, she's not going to be able to use from the last position, but that's fine. Um, I'd rather have something like Dazzling Light there, um, but for now, Guild is... Um, is locked so we can't actually change your skills um all right so let's embark a mecca of madness and morbidity <clears throat> your work begins so these are all the uh the areas in the game obviously it's i believe the goal of the game is to clear 
the darkest dungeon, but let's not go there just yet. Uh, let's slot these guys in. And we will just do a scouting mission for 3000 gold, 4 crests, and a health stone. Um, let's see if we want this guy. He has minus one, that would be a minus one speed on the first round. So for him that's not terrible, so let's give him that. And it, it'll increase our chance at scouting, so it's it's fine. And then let's go to the provisions. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. Okay, so we want at least eight food. I think that's a good starting point. And four torches. I like to bring a little bit extra. So we're gonna bring eight and six. Um, we always bring a shovel and we always want at least one skeleton key. Do I bring any of these? Um, I don't think it's crucial right now because we do have healing in the party. This might be nice too as well. Uh, yeah, let's bring one of those. Oh, never mind. We already got one. So, yeah, this looks fine. And let's embark. See if the narrator has more more to say as we get in. He does do a lot of talking, so. Alright, doesn't look like it. So, let's get going. Here is an extra torch. That's always nice. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Here we go. Some skeletons. Should be relatively easy to uh, kill. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about that guy, because when his turn comes around, he's super dead. So... Uh, this does not mark anyone. Okay. Does it? No. Okay. So, just hit him. These skeletons won't bleed, so that's, that's a thing to know. This is first unholy, and this guy is unholy, so Executed that's a nice break. Alright. Let's hope he doesn't take it because he's a cartomaniac. Okay. Alright, and we continue on. And this is why we bring the shovel. The cold stone seems bent on preventing <coughs> passage. Without those shovels, that would be a huge hit. In, um... Oh, I didn't watch my torch, did I? It's fine. You can just torch up right now. Um... A powerful blow. There we go, that's gonna do 5 damage, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. Her stress is going up quite a bit. I want to take care of the stress guys first because um, I feel like in the long term, stress is the um, the bigger concern Slowly. than health because Gently. health you can this just heal back, you know. That's that's easier to deal with. Um, I really want to get rid of her, of her. So this might be bad because if I remember correctly, can I can I right click on you? There we go. 
Never mind, you don't have the uh, room thing. Right. Their formation there we go. Maintain the offensive. Um, let's heal you. That's a very nice crit. And smack you. Press this advantage. Very nice. Them no quarter. Uh, let's see. This we might want to give to him. I know he already has like zero speed. Um, on the first round, so is it that bad to go to zero just normally? Uh, probably not. And it gives the uh, the stunning blow a little more, a little more um, oomph, let's say. So let's burn another torch and go in. Okay, nothing here. And here's the scouting mechanic, so we know that that room has something in it, and that room has treasure and a battle in it. We're only here to explore, but I think we're going to go for the battle first, because those tend to be... Um, those tend to be... Uh, Finding the stuff is only the first test. More rewarding, obviously. Now it must be carried home. Oh, he stole some stuff, so... I don't know if clicking off him does anything to stop that, but um, I, I feel like it does, so let's uh, try that. They're, they are surprised, that's nice. So what we want to do is... Um, we want to get rid of her as fast as possible once more because she deals a lot of stress damage so and she dodges it of course Cell's accusation no let's do this there we go that's one down And the Eldritch Bull misses, which is good. <coughs> uh, at this point, you're, at four. You're, you're gonna die in the next turn, so let's lead him, hopefully. There we go. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. See, this isn't too bad. Uh, just yet. Uh, Again, the stress here is, is the most worrying bit so far. Um, what's your plight? Mm, no, let's incise you. And now you have enough to just die. So, we'll heal up. And you could finish him off. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Holy water, more food, and some money. That's always good. Okay. It is trapped, and he got some bleed. That's that's a little sad, but no treasure. Oh, okay. We hit a trap. That's uh, that's not too good. Um, we did bring a little bit of extra food, so we can heal up this way a little bit. Um, I don't really want to burn more torches than we have to. Okay, nothing in this room. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go here first. In case we... Like, we don't really want to backtrack. Because it takes... Oh, that's a lot of food. And more holy water. Okay, so... We can spare this food. And heal up just a little bit more. Give it give some to him as well. Um... Oh. Well, there we go. And we'll burn a torch before going in here. And there's nothing here again. <clears throat> Alright, so this is probably gonna be the last room before the 90% thing pops. But if it isn't, we wanna... Um, we want to keep that last torch for the last room. Okay. So again, this guy deals, uh, deals stress damage, I believe. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> At least he, he didn't target, um, the healer in the back this time. Take these two in the back. That should be enough to deal with uh, this guy. Yes, it is. Okay, so now uh, none of these guys will bleed. So I don't know if this matters. Um, let's deal with the guys in the back first. Decisive Holy shit, that's bubbling. nice. <laughs> <clears throat> Wasn't expecting that. Okay, just some damage. Let's do... I can't believe that... I, I believe that they changed the damage for Sunholy from, from this to this. Uh, I remember this being good against uh, unholy guys, but it's no big deal. You can you can just smack him. Then kill him, hopefully. But no. Okay. There we go. That guy's dead. I'm also doing this because it, um, oh never mind, I thought that guy, that attack does uh, add to the, to the light, but it doesn't, um, okay, so let's just knock him down. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. <clears throat> Foolish horrors. Swift glow and driven into the mud. That's that's actually pretty nice. Uh, continue adventuring, so we can open this chest and we get some more treasure out of it. And let's complete the quest. Let's see what we got. Use resilient. That's very nice, actually. On guard. That's that's also very nice. Necromania. Okay, it likes dead dead things. And um, okay, so this is this is one that's very situational. So it's not that great, and another Claptomaniac in the group. That's not great, but we'll we'll make it uh, we'll make it work. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Okay, so these guys came back, and the tavern and the abbey is now unlocked. So let's uh, check that out. Um, this one went better than most of my 
first things, uh, first uh, missions, so the only one I'm really worried about is uh, Hal Halleker right here. So let's send her. The actually, have been before dusted, we send her the away, set straight. let's the take a look what we got faithful. here. Got a shield breaker. Do we get any healing? Self heals. Um, hmm, so we can't really send her away, to be honest. Because um, none of these guys are like backliners. This one might be. Expose. So. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't really I don't really want any of these right now anyway. Um fresh kegs, cards and curtained rooms promise solace so, to the weary and broken alike. Instead of doing that, let's uh let's send him away because there was someone in there um that uh, how do you say it? That could work in the third slot. Um, I'm clicking the wrong things. There we go. Uh, shield breaker. Shifting. So this is now Sorry. our uh, our team she right here. Mesmerizes her prey before the final strike. Um, let's take a look at our things here. But no, you're set up. Dismas, you have a ton of speed already, which is good. Um, what's your dodge? Ten. That's base. Okay. So. Okay, so that's not. It's not. Um. You have zero dodge. So. Is the. This thing is ranged, okay. So it does help you a little bit. Um, I don't get it. it does help you a little bit. So let's do that. Because you have no dodge anyway, so that's fine. Um, the speed, though. Yeah. Minus 20 move resist doesn't really matter on her, I think. She's a Twilight Dreamer. I don't know what this... It ignores stealth, but stealth is a new mechanic. Um, calm and flawed release, so she's not great on range. Um, she moves around a lot, so move resist isn't that much of a big deal, I feel like. Um, Let's see, she has 20 HP. Um, I'm thinking about slotting this into uh, in with him because he's gonna benefit the most but then also she could use it and just lose one speed um, and get 2 HP more that's probably fine yeah that's probably that's that's all around like a little bit of bonus on both those things okay so Next time, we'll be uh, going into another mission, and uh, let's, uh, let's see how this new party does. See you guys.